so we had taken this assignment yesterday let me go through the assignment reflect on the activity of contemplation and understanding within yourself check within are you seeing your relatedness with others or are you focusing on the differences between yourself and others with the activity of contemplation we see our relatedness with others and our focus shifts from expecting others to change to seeing what i can do to help the other note that this is only possible when we are in harmony within also reflect on the activity of understanding which is seeing the harmony in every unit in the nature today throughout the day observe your relationship with other human beings within the family at work friends relatives etc reflect on your role in your relationship with them also observe the harmony in the nature around you and your role there note down your observation we can discuss them so we were discussing the activities of the self part 4 of the introductory content we are discussing the activities of the self we could see that the activities of the self can be placed in two blocks b1 and b2 block b1 is the dimension of knowing that is dimension of right understanding or realization and block b2 is the dimension of imagination or also called as dimension of thought and now we are trying to understand the higher level activities so you could see that contemplation is to see the relationship with the participation in the larger order understanding is to see the harmony the innateness and realization is to see the submergence of nature in space so presently in the morning session we are trying to reflect on the meaning of these words and also trying to look within and see to what extent i am able to contemplate or to what extent at least i can be able to understand the meaning of the proposal that is being put forward here can i see the natural acceptance within so just by listening to the talk here it's not that we are going to have the contemplation accomplished but that the initiation can take place our priority can shift our priority can shift from imagination to awakening of the high level activity and then that will also have an effect on our conduct we are able to feel more related to others and thus we are able to participate in the larger order more harmoniously similarly the more we are able to see the harmony innately within we are able to be in harmony and we are able to work for harmony in others so the more we are able to awaken to the higher level activity of the self the enhance is our participation in the larger order so we have to do this assignment so we did not talk about like we did not have the assignment about realization yesterday but we did take an assignment about contemplation understanding so try to see like are you able to make out the relatedness with others whether the relationship is harmonious or not but we are basically related to the other and you have a role to play there similarly when i am able to see the harmony in the nature around i can also see my role there what i can do to ensure the harmony in the nature around uh, namaste bhaiya uh, namaste to all uh, bhaiya i earlier also shared that one of our for international students is very uh, seriously sick today in ludhiana so she has been ad- admitted to the hospital for last since 25th april i could see my role and participation i earlier also shared her mother came just a few days back last thursday only and she does not have father means i could see the role and i i could see the relationship with her as and i i i could see my role and participation and uh, because of this self exploration only and then i put my body soul and even the money part also i earlier shared also that and even i can see that this justice because when you say that it reaches there and then you can uh, it can means you can evaluate also the doctors and all even the the students who are with her they 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 say that when the doctor said uh, we we are in the hospital every day and we see that even the children are not taking care of their parents even yesterday the doctor said and then she said how you are playing this role because since 25th april now today 22nd almost one month so without fail morning and evening i go there and check 
and coordinate with the doctors and even the mother has come she is very simple she can't understand even english fully so it's not that the mother has come so i i find that my role is still there so it's all due to this contemplation means you just guide this and then uh, yesterday unfortunately one very incident happened that one of our bcom first year students uh, got um, to nowadays ptu final exams are going on so he caught while cheating and then uh, the procedure whatever the system as you say it took over the system the system took over and the cheating and all that the teacher superintendent do whatever their role is there but after that sir bhaiya uh, uh, he went to some another building and then he jumped from the fifth floor of the building bhaiya and then when i got the news i just ran and then we did everything we took him to the hospital as immediately he could but he could not be saved bhaiya so this is the first time in 25 years of our existence of this institute this incident has happened and then i could see the father the parents who were coming there and i could see the role and we stood with them the whole day and obviously they obviously they have lost the son so they were disturbed also so they had a doubt also how this has happened but then thanks to the technology the cameras were there all by the evening by the night it was again but then the larger issue means today the newspapers are also you see the media also they have their role and it's a constructive role also they are playing i was reading one of the articles and i to editor was saying that the parents have to teach how uh, the their children how to take their failures also one incident they should think about their parents this kind of article has come i just read in the morning so they are they are focusing that the parents should play the role but then i feel that we teachers also have a role because when i start discussion with my faculty that uh, because um, when we say that during the admission time we take the full responsibility of the student then i ask my faculty should i should we ask, should we tell this that we take full responsibility of the student then some of the teachers and no how can we take the full responsibility only the course we can teach but then obviously just a discussion has started so i think we all have the role as parent first of all i discuss with my children also i keep keep on kept on i kept on discussing with them because they are also growing 17 and 16 so they also say that why you go to the hospital so much and why even she is not related to us this foreign student and why are you playing this role then me and my wife try to tell them whatever we can and then but the larger picture like last semester i told you that i took 27 hours load because i know because now with the uhv we know the solution is where but then outside the society they are also doing whatever they can do but i think we have a very large role here and i have to feel related to all this is what i wanted to and, and seek your direction further bhaiya thank you thank you to all nice bhaiya for the example that you shared so you have been playing a good role here you all can see now when it comes to taking the full responsibility of the students so we cannot take the full responsibility but we can play our role the problem is that we are limiting our role to only imbibing some technical skills that will not do our role primarily is to develop the right understanding right feeling in the students and with that we have to train them in some skills and then we have to see the kind of living that is there if the hostels are there and the students are living within the campus then we can develop some more programs to interact with the students if the hostels are not there in the campus then you have some limited choices similarly we need to see how to interact with the parents also in fact the second example that you cited <clears throat> so if the child is doing something like this cheating or something then can we make a program which can be holistic on one hand the students are not ready to study on the other hand if they fail or if they do some unethical things then they feel like committing suicide or many of them uh, start living in isolation so we have to develop a holistic solution to this so we need to interact in fact it so happened that in the first semester we are having the student induction program and in the second year we are having which we do but after that 
there is not much scope for interaction. That's why the minor degree has been brought into picture. In addition to that, we can have some program where every semester we are able to interact with the students. That mentor mentee relations is very important. So we have to work in those dimensions also. And the more the faculty are able to attend the workshops, then their maturity level grows. And then they are able to see their relationship with the students in a much wider way. It's not limited to only four years of stay in the campus and they are also only limited to the skills. It is related to the whole living of the students. And that has its own benefits also. If you are able to relate to the students, the feeling of relationship, then the relation continues maybe throughout the life. The students remember you and keep on giving feedback to you or sharing their developments in life. So that is also possible. We have to see how we can have the organizations running on the basis of relationship, how we can have more fulfilling relationships in the organization. That is a doable task, may not be so easy to do because there are multiple factors influencing the whole atmosphere in the institution, particularly yes, in the private colleges. Yeah. So that issue is there. Yes, uh, like in one of the last director's meeting, even one of our senior members raised this point that we have so many other things than the um, courses like the students must know. And then one of them talked about the relationship because this is what our means sometimes as a UHV person, if you are saying something, then people sometimes say, okay, keep your UHV. I think we all have faced that. Even you have said that in earlier times, it was very struggle to make people understand. And so, but then you are, you are right, right that we have to start the discussion. So whenever there is a, something, uh, so I, then I said that, okay, I can talk about the relationship whenever the topic, they, they, they found so many other topics also where the students should be knowing, must be knowing. And then I said, even the teachers, we can talk about the relationship. So slowly, it's a very slow and continuous process, but then it's, uh, yes, uh, it will take time because others are not into that. Uh, they don't, but then, then discussion has to be there whenever the time is there. So I think now again, the time is there where I, where we can put this point that more training has to be there, how the student can take the failure also. I, I keep on talking about this because I, I, I take care of the student welfare. So discipline, cases come and system will take action. The teachers also sometimes say that, why are you taking such actions? But then I tell them it's an emergency action. And then yeah, even I the, the action we take, I talk to the students in detail. We call the parents also. And then I talk to the parents also in detail why this action has, has been taken. So I understand their pain when the teacher, when the parents come, because there are one, two children. The children, when they are committing something, they don't know. What is the result of that? When action comes, they can't take it. They go into depression. And the parents also go into depression. They come with a lot of opposition, Bhaiya. But then I sit with them. I, 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 means I explain to them. Then I feel, again, contemplation. I feel related to their pain because they come with a lot of opposition. I spend one hour, two hours with them. Some of my colleagues even say, why are you spending so much time on them? And then I, because I can't tell them. But then this is how I think I can play my role. But then... We, more team members are required, you're right. So, so it's a slow process, Bhaiya. So we are into the track yeah. with your I'll guidance. I say that in the future being slow, the process is gradual. I'll not call it as slow. See, suddenly okay. Okay. Uh, some major changes also take place if the management yes. decides to go for yes. something. So it's a gradual I think, process. I think this incident can be a trigger like that. I don't know. Yes, yes. 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 See, today when some RTI is filed no to the government that what the government has been doing to solve the problem of depression or suicide among the students, then the government has only one response to give, and that is that courses on human values are being run across the country in the institutions. So they okay. can see the need. And in fact, it has become a kind of face-saving uh, measure yeah. also for the institutions because yeah. they do not have any sustainable, fulfilling program to handle the psychological problems of the students. So it is very much working, only that People become active when some uh, such kind of incident has taken place. Yeah. If they are able to see proactively the need for this, then they would be doing much better. Mm -hmm. 
when you shared few days back i remember that i when i shared with one of my extra classes but uh, you actually to ironically yesterday was you actually two paper of btech in the afternoon session this happened in the morning session the student had a paper of environmental science so i don't know means in the evening we had a uhv paper and in the morning where this incident happened it was the environmental science subject both are needed in a way but then are we able to teach them in that way and then i remember few days back you shared that even in last 6 months three iitms have committed suicide in this morning session on now yeah. it happened to us also geeta ji is saying that not just students faculty also Absolutely. Yes, that is there. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. That is there. Uh, faculty also, and the faculty is very young, boy. Yeah, faculty is also very young nowadays. We all uh, can see that in the into these institutes. They all yeah, but they all just started doing masters. They are coming for teaching, and they have yeah. been uh, behaving in a very immature manner when they were students, and they suddenly become teachers, and many of them. Would be doing some loose talk or spending time unnecessarily with the students. Those kinds of problems are also there. Yes. They do have to take time. In fact, there is also provision for faculty induction program. If you look at the website of AICT, AICT has already created the provision for faculty induction program. This is another measure that we have to take. We are presently running programs for student induction. We are also working for faculty development, but this can also be mandated. that as soon as the faculty comes for teaching he or she needs to go through this workshop this is one thing yes please nice bhaiya right now let me explain you some one thing uh, i was just reminded of ak gar engineering college in abdul kalam technical university where gopal babu is there and there the human values course has been implemented very successfully the director general there has taken lot many measures by himself for promoting this and ek ek gar college is the only college in uh, apj abdul kalam technical university which has got nac a double plus so when we work for human values it contributes in all directions that's for sure nice thank you lipi goswami ji namaste bhaiya am i audible uh, the voice is breaking a bit but yes audible okay okay uh, <clears throat> namaste everyone so bhaiya it is clear that uh, the higher level activities are only okay okay so sir uh, higher level activities are only present in human <clears throat> and uh, it can be such that that they are not awakened and our minds uh, remain doing activities in the lower block in the lower level um, sometimes confusion confusion that uh, say i am trying to awaken my higher level activities uh, so that i have a happy and prosperous life um, now how how do i awaken that means in each and every uh, daily activity say in taking decisions uh, i try to check whether uh, i am taking the decision fulfilling the feeling of right understanding and right feeling uh, at the four levels but there are certain situations uh, when we <clears throat> when i feel that i am a part of a um, system uh, where i feel that there is no correct understanding and um, i feel uh, demotivated sometimes so in that case how can i still have the right understanding and right feeling uh, to motivate others so sometimes a confusion take place bhaiya yeah so when i have the right understanding and right feeling then i do not get influenced by the incompetence in the system this is one thing second thing when i am working for right understanding and right feeling then the system is there but still i may not depend on the system for my development i can make out my own program and i can see that there are many people like me who are working for right understanding i can join with them i can be a part of a team and keep on working consistently for developing right understanding right feeling in me thirdly the system in which i am there the people have the same natural acceptance as of me they have the same program mm-hmm. same potential it's only that they are not aware of it so i can take some measures to initiate such activities if 
after working for a long time nothing is working then i can move to some other place also that possibility is also there so i am getting influenced i am getting frustrated because of the system because i myself do not have the right to understand that feeling and it also may be the case that i am not able to see my program in every situation if i am able to see my program in every situation then i do not get upset of some example that we keep on sharing no so when uh things are running well then we can go out and discuss with everyone when there is a pandemic and we are in lockdown then we can work on the self when the body is healthy i can go and work outside if the body is not healthy and i am in bed then i can observe myself so i always have the time and opportunity to work to develop myself this is something that i have to see at a very basic level that my development is not dependent on the system outside my participation with others may be dependent but my development within is not dependent and there also when i am going to participate then the essence that is my feeling my understanding is not going to be dependent on the system outside and generally it is also seen that if the system is more in problems then the people are craving more for solution also so the more the problems are there in the system we are also able to get more opportunities for working for holistic solution so to look into those opportunities we have to look into those possibilities okay bhaiya thank you nice didi so we had some sharing regarding the assignment now we can go to the content part so this is what we had discussed yesterday i think all of us are aware of the meaning of all the words on the slide so just try to have a look at the complete slide and see if every word is clear to you because now we are going to use these words consistently so i think the 10 activities of the self their meaning is completely clear to us something that is written on the right hand side how the comparing is guided how the testing is guided this is clear and we are also able to have the clarity of the words written on the bottom and what is human goal what is universal human order yes nirupam ji so clarify the proposal to yourself unless the proposal is clear we are not able to explore the meaning also ji namaste bhaiya namaste namaste sabhi ko bhaiya i am i am able to see here a uh, full expression of human being does it mean a uh, expression outside and expression inside which are happening uh, inside me like uh, all these activities of the self and expression outside uh, in terms of behavior and work and this full expression of human being is shown with the space means like in a space there are two units uh, material and consciousness so a material body jiske dwara matlab jo bhi i am expressing outside and consciousness in uh, entity which is myself uh, expression inside am i getting it right way please clear it no i am not getting what you say bhai here uh, in the purple uh, the first line a space a uh, right mm-hmm. side full expression of human being uh, yeah so full I, expression of human being see see full expression of human being is not something which is uh, like a continuation of the word space full expression of human being has been shown on the slide space is written there because when i realize within the submergence of nature in space so i am able to see my being in space so self is there if you see the whole thing then self has been placed here on the top space has been mentioned then the body is written then the other is written where human and rest of nature is there and then the society and order has been mentioned so full expression of human being is not pertaining to the word space here it is for the entire slide space is mentioned because that is a reality and we are placing that reality in the slide here yeah bhaiya i was telling um, matlab main bhaiya matlab full expression matlab expression outside and expression inside inside self outside work and behavior uh, so what is the question nahi matlab main jo samajh rahi thi wo sahi samajh rahi thi bas ek aur santa theek hai bhaiya main i got your you thank theek aman grower ji namaste bhaiya namaste to all co explorer Bhaiya, uh, like you said, uh, that uh, please make sure that you understand every word in this whole graph. Um, I have a question about guided senses and 
um, mostly guided sens sensation. Uh, wh what do we mean by that? Are we guiding our own or? I could not you. hear you for the past 10 seconds or so. Can you say <clears throat> it again? But yeah, when we talk about guided senses, uh, in what content, in what context we talking about guided senses? Guided senses means the sensation that I am getting from the body, I am able to give the right meaning to it. The meaning that I am giving to the sensation is guided. Right. So I'm, I'm the one giving meaning to it uh, when yes. it's coming to me. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, in in uh, in line with the natural acceptance and the right understanding and right feeling. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Bhaiya. Uh, Amolji. Namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, everyone. Um, yeah, we are uh, talking about state activities, dynamic activities for past two days. Uh, so I have one question, like um, when we say state and it's kind of a clarification. So when we say state activity, so it's, uh, it's actually uh, state is something uh, snapshot or something which has been uh, established in yourself. Uh, and activity is uh, acting on it. Um, so like tasting, uh, so some kind of uh, taste is established in myself and I am kind of referring to it. So uh, called as state activity because is it happening continuously? All the activities are happening continuously, whether it is dynamic or state. You see one thing, okay. like you are there, yeah. yes. isn't it? And you are participating. Yes. So at every moment you have a state and you have some dynamism. Yes. The building is there and the building is participating. The plant is there and the plant is participating. Both are activities. The being is also an activity. And the participation yes. is also an activity. Participation can be this way or that way, but it is there, isn't it? And the being is also there. And both are continuous. Only thing we may not be conscious about what is happening. It is happening continuously or not? Uh, yes, uh, by voice uh, saying I the only problem with existence is that the reality is there, and but we are not aware. We are not able to see the reality as it is. That's all. <laughs> okay. Yes. So in that sense, uh, say we say contemplation chintan. So our if our understanding exists, and we are continuously referring to the understanding that. Uh, you know our participation but we may not be aware about that and we may not be contemplating no 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 that will not be there see if the higher level activities are awakened yes i cannot be unaware of it not possible okay so okay. cannot be the truth that i have the right understanding but i do not know <laughs> never possible because right. the activity is there in me how can it be and right understanding means to be aware so how can i be unaware of right understanding uh, in the sense, uh, yeah, so when we are into B2 block, then we may not refer continuously to the natural acceptance. But once we have reached a B1 block, so we are referring to that innate faculty continuously. It's not that we are referring now. Okay. It is guiding. See, it is there in me. Now it is guiding all my other activities. Okay. 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 Reference is when I am not able to see it as it is. I am not able to awaken it. When it is awakened, yes. then why will I refer? Yes. So it's continuously awakened and through it, my all activities are guided. Yes. But yeah, but I mean, uh, sometimes I get this feeling that this all top level activities should be awakened to have awakened the uh, other activities fully. Like, mm -hmm. unless we understand the uh, system or uh, harmony in nature, how we can participate and guided by that. Unless we uh, see the coexistence, how we can see the um, harmony in nature. And yeah, um, harmony in nature, but it's not complete. Uh, With submergence, uh, the observation of submergence becomes complete. So I can very much see the harmony in the nature, right? But it will not be completed without uh, realization. With okay. realization, I can see the basis for this harmony. Otherwise, it appears a kind of, as a kind of, uh, to some extent, a mystery to me. 
means how it go yeah but once i'm able to realize the whole existence as question nothing remains a mystery for me everything is clear yeah so in some sense um, uh, when we are uh, we can see participation and we are guided by that but we don't know the basis of participation when we are just at the stage of contemplating we are moving from down to up then we 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 are guided by particip i mean uh, participation and thing but we may not fully understand the uh, harmony that is possible no, no. see we are always participating this way or that way yes yes the participation with right feeling is just for the contemplation okay similarly we are always there this way or that way but our being is as per our innateness so the more awakening has taken place in block b1 the more guided are the activities of block b2 and that's yes. again in our participation that is all yes and when we are in block b2 um the comparing is happening for example i am just giving comparing is happening continuously but it is not guided by uh, yes. so the comparing is taking place yes it is not guided okay so it's the being is also continuous process in that state it is a uh, so whatever our inner state whatever our assumptions the comparing is happening based on that continuously yes yeah. and that's why it is state activity not that's why it's not that something mm-hmm. is continuous that's why see every uh, unit has a state and dynamism yes every activity has a state and dynamism so not that's why mm-hmm. comparing is taking place and that is as a state activity and mystic is taking place and that is a dynamic activity because in comparing something is established in me this is favorable that is unfavorable this mm-hmm. is there in me stated in me now what is favorable i am like in those terms मतलब मानना और जानना ये जो है जो जो मानना है दैट इज एस्टेब्लिश इन मी सी इवन इफ जानना इज नॉट देयर मानना इज देयर एंड देन आइदर इट इज डायनामिक एक्टिविटी और स्टेट एक्टिविटी इट इज एज पर मानना हम सो इट्स नॉट दैट मानना इज स्टेट एक्टिविटी एंड जानना इज डायनामिक नो नथिंग लाइक दैट हां या आई मीन जानना इज नॉलेज दैट इज आल्सो एस्टेब्लिश मानना इज अजम्पशन दैट इज आल्सो एस्टेब्लिश दैट इज अ स्टेट and referring to that we are acting and when you are referring to that and acting that is also either janna or manna <laughs> correct correct so uh, yes with our previous state we actually act uh, we observe uh, and learn through it and a new state get established oh, i mean the new knowledge right. <laughs> see see otherwise we we are jumble the words okay. you write okay. it for yourself you know because it's not very difficult Yes. It's only yes. that we have to pay attention to the activity, and then you try to analyze the words. Then it will be clear. Mm. So, yes. Janna is block B one. If Janna is not in show, then Manna, Pahchana, Nirvana, Karna is there in block B two, and they are in state activity as well as dynamic activity. Understood, Bhaiya. I mean, I am getting sense of it. I am not very. Sp- I mean, while explaining, I was not specific about words. So, uh, yeah, I understand. I mean. Um, so what what we do like this could be common to most of us we can write it for ourselves yes yes so when you go to write you have to be very specific because once you have written the word it gets fixed so if you try to write it so one good task would be like we elaborate by ourselves on these activities and then you will see multiple questions coming up and then try to make out the response to those questions then much yes. more clarity will be there and in that process your the other three conditions might also get evaluated yes yes bhaiya i will do that thank you thank you very much nice nice bhaiya jambali ji ha uh, namaste bhaiya namaste to all my co explorers uh, bhaiya uh, here guided senses uh, uh, means uh, right uh, giving right meaning to the uh, sensations from the senses am i correct bhaiya yes a uh, guided sensation well in the next one expectation part so that is uh, sensation through senses only na so what is the uh, further clarification i would like to have this guided senses and guided senses yeah so we have used two words here one to relate to testing one to relate to comparing so in hindi if you see yes. 
we call it as free when it is for comparing. So these uh, three words like senses, health and profit are called as priya, hit and love. And if you look at the testing, it is called ruchi. So for ruchi, we are uh, using the word senses, a sensation. And for priya, we are using the word senses. So the meaning is we like equivalent. When I'm comparing and it is acting as a basis, then we are calling it senses. But when it is just getting tested, we are calling it sensation. So you'll see that what is favorable uh, as a test, it is there as testing in me, and it is there as the basis for comparing in me. So that favorableness is working in both the ways, at the level of testing as well as at the level of comparing. Now, when it is guided, then the meaning that I am associating to the sensation, now it is based on right understanding. So now when Both the sensation is me, it, it does not become the driving factor for my imagination. It gets evaluated. Yes. So I see uh, maybe somebody's cloth. It comes as information to me. And now it is guided. I do not get influenced. In place yes. of having the desire to go for this kind of exotic and costly garment, I can make out that this is not my need. It is, it is now guided. Earlier, it could happen that anything that I see becomes a source of my imagination. Anything that I taste, anything that I touch, anything that I smell becomes a source of my imagination. Somebody comes to you with a very you know, uh, like perfume and you find the fragrance of the perfume very favorable and you start talking about the perfume. From where you get what this, how much does it cost? Is it Indian or imported? And then this drives your imagination for a whole day that let me use a part of my salary to get good perfumes. The perfume that I'm using is not good. Now it is yes. being completely guided. Now it is guided, I can see that ensuring health of the body is the priority. It's better to take baths you know, yes. <laughs> rather than yeah. using perfume and try to cover up. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. Um, yeah, I'm not able to formulate the question properly, but I'm trying to put it like uh, what will be the safe or what will be the conduct kind of thing if you know someone is uh, working at a level of B1 or say in a state of realization, what will be the uh, expression kind of thing? Means Hindi अगर हम लोग B1 ब्लॉक में ऑपरेट कर रहे हैं तो उसका स्वरूप क्या होगा अगर कोई भी ह्यूमन बीइंग ऐसे स्टेट में रहे तो स्वरूप इन केस ऑफ लाइक स्वरूप इन की एक्सप्रेशन लिविंग हां एक्सप्रेशन इन लिविंग मींस लाइक व्हाट आर द इंडिकेटर्स फॉर एग्जांपल व्हेन वी सी द रिलेटेडनेस सो यू कैन सी द हैप्पीनेस इन द अदर ऑल द टाइम one thing you will not see reaction anytime always the person is responding to situations every time the person is participating with the feeling of relationship every time the person is talking about ensuring harmony and every time the person is clear about all that exists there would be no expression where there is some doubt or some query you know or some confusion the things are clear and we can see this kind of shift in our living also the more clarity we have we can see that it reflects on our face, in our expression. We feel happy. We are able to share happiness with others. In place of getting influenced by the situation outside, we always are able to see the role of ourselves. In place of reacting, we are always responding. So this kind of shift has already begun. It's only that it becomes complete. Now there are certain things which are not clear. Now when that also becomes clear, then we have completeness of clarity. So we all can see the way we were there earlier, our expression, our uh, sharing, how it has been transforming. So when a person is having the right understanding and completeness, we can see that kind of conduct in the other, the resolution within and the expression outside to every kind of issue. So we are in a state of super nice thing. I think there are still going to be some questions. Uh, some questions have been mentioned in the chat box. Let me just... Adelaide is saying space and natural acceptance of pure observers. No, space is not observer. 
space is no activity. I observe through space. And through space, reality is reflected in me. That reflection of reality in me is natural acceptance. So another thing that, am I right if I say whatever changes is called an activity and it does not change at all, it is without activity. So not the change, <clears throat> but rather we have to see the activity as activity and space as space. That is no activity as no activity. Now in what way we denote the change has to be understood? <clears throat> Namaste, Sabiko. Bhaiya, in this uh, like uh, purple colored block, that is B1 block, uh, there is a dynamic activity uh, which goes about authentication and determination. So, uh, like, are, what are we basically uh, like, uh, like authentication of our understanding uh, about this imaginations? Uh, and uh, so I would just like to get a little bit clarity on these two uh, terminologies with respect yeah, to yeah, the so full expressions. Authentication is the natural decision in me to be in line with realization of submergence of nature in space. So the natural decision in me. So earlier, I did not have completeness of clarity. Now I have the completeness of clarity. So it will now complete all my other activities. They are now fully guided. So that is authentication. And that means that whenever I look within, I see that I'm clear. Oh. So that is an authentication of realization. Nothing is a mystery for me now. I see the whole reality as it is. Similarly, determination is a natural decision in me to be in harmony, the way the whole nature is in harmony. So oh. it is again natural decision. I do not even impose it. Now the determination that we do presently, it is a kind of decision that I make at the level of expectation while selecting something or at the level of thought. But the determination here is natural. The moment I'm able to see the harmony, and I naturally determine to be in line with that. That is determination. Okay. So in that case, uh, like if we state an example, it would be as uh, uh, in the like early while the session started, Bhaiya was narrating about his uh, college and uh, the students. So that means uh, the participation that he's doing uh, with the students and uh, taking care and uh, uh, trying to build in, uh, you know, a kind of harmony among students and teachers in order to take care of them. So is this something kind of an authentication that he has, uh, like he has accepted this as uh, as his duty and uh, so he wants the harmony within himself should be also among all. Is it like that, Paya? Yeah, to, to some extent, like even if the realization has not taken place, but within imagination also, when I am self-exploring and when I am trying to respond in every situation, so I can see that the conduct has transformed or the, is it there in the process of transformation. It is getting authenticated, but it is not exactly authentication that is written here with realization. So this authentication the mention, the way it has been mentioned here is to do with realization. But of course, our conduct gets authenticated at times. That is also there. In fact, it will happen in this way that once I am able to realize the existence and coexistence, so the first level of authentication would be within the self, that all my activities are now fully guided. Then my authentication would be there in my behavior then my authentication would be there in terms of my participation in uh, universal human order. But even when the realization is not taking place, okay, so whether we call it as authentication or not is something else, but it is getting proved in my conduct. So in place of saying authenticated, we can say that yes, it is getting naturally proved. Okay, so that means uh, my nature, that is, uh, say, for example, me as well, like uh, the uh, way I was, uh, you know, understanding this uh, concept. And now when I realize and I work upon it and uh, the things that is uh, inculcated within me these days, that is, you know, uh, more of uh, compassion, more of harmony. And uh, despite all odds that is happening around me, but I feel contented that it is all right. Uh, and uh, I can work upon it. So uh, this would be some sort of an uh, understanding within myself that uh, my conduct is uh, has got improved and it, I'll work according to um, my understanding. Is that okay? 
not completely i'll say see we are presently also using this like you spoke and you spoke, use the word realize use the word authenticated use the word understanding but it's not exactly what has been mentioned here so presently we are working for right understanding we are working to realize but the way we use the word realize nowadays or presently in our communication oh i realize my mistake and this is not realization isn't it so that's why i said that we might use these words but the way they have been placed in block one has a completely different meaning so understanding here also has a different meaning now clarity that i get in my thought is not understanding clarity that i get in my desire is not contemplation clarity that i get in my uh, expectation is not being guided by right understanding i am getting that clarity that is by bits and pieces i am getting in some sense to some extent but not in completeness it is not continuous also but if the higher level activities are awakened then it is continuous so you can check for yourself the clarity that you have at this moment is it going to continue or it gets again faded away after some right. time right 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 bhaiya i get it thank you so much bhaiya namaste very nice so we discussed uh, about it is the self in detail now we can go to the next slide so now we can have a look at the entire existence so existence is coexistence that is units submerged in space so when i look at the existence i can two i can see two kinds of reality units and space all the units make the nature the space is all pervading the space is there inside a unit outside the unit to there everywhere and when i look at the units i can see that they are limited in size so every unit be it conscious or material is limited in size every unit is an activity while space when i look at it i can see that it is unlimited it has no size it is no activity being in space i can see that every unit is self organized and in space i can see that self organization is available that essentially means that the basis for a unit being self organized is available in space similarly every unit is energized and the basis for energization of the unit is available in space that is to say energy in equilibrium is there and every unit being in space is recognizing the relationship and fulfilling it and the basis for that is that transparency in the space the space is transparent so i can relate to every unit in this whole existence through space that's how it is called as transparent it is not obstructing the relationship it is there and through space only i can relate now when i look at the nature i can see that there are two kinds of units material and consciousness so material units are temporary because their constitution keeps on changing the conscious units are continuous because their constitution doesn't change so it's not that the activity of contemplation can get split and become some other unit or some other activity comes and joins my activity it's not possible so only that the awakening has to take place but these are the ten activities in the self but when i look at the material units i can see that disintegration composition decomposition integration all those things can keep on taking place so the constitution may change i can also see that every unit in uh, every material unit has only two kinds of activity the recognizing and fulfilling so the unit recognizes the relationship with other unit and fulfills it when i look at the conscious unit i can see that at least assuming recognizing and fulfilling are there in the conscious unit and the potential to know is also there and this is what we are working for now when i go to observe the material units closely i can say that there are two orders there is one order in which respiration is taking place there is another order in which there is no respiration the physical order is there in which the smallest self organized unit is the atom the atoms combine to make molecules the molecules combine to take make molecular structures the molecular structures could be of two kind one is the lump and the other is fluid lump means which retains its shape fluid means which flows now these fluids combine to make cells which is the smallest unit of the bio order 
Now the cells combine to make plants or animal body or human body depending upon the composition. Now when the animal body coexists with the cell, it makes the animal order. When the human or body coexists with the cell, it makes the human order. And within the self of the human being, there is potential to know, there is potential to contemplate, understand and realize. And this is what we are working for. We can also see that in the material it's, there is activity of composition and decomposition by virtue of which they go back to the initial state. So a plant grows from the soil, becomes a tree and then goes back to the soil. Our body goes back to the soil. The animal body goes back to the soil. Isn't it? The mountain is there, but if mountain is eroding, you try to explode a hillock, then it may go back to the soil. So all those possibilities are there with the metalloids. But with the cell, we can see that there is no such cyclicality. It does not go back to the initial state. Once I'm able to contemplate upon relationship, I cannot forget it. Once I'm able to understand the harmony in the nature, I cannot miss it. I cannot be ignorant of it. It is there in me all the time. And that's how it is called as development. It is not cyclic. And that is the takeaway from our life. If I am able to ensure this development in the self, then I have made the right utilization of my body. I have made the right utilization of the facilities around. Else, I am just there as it is. And I am not developing. So I can see that my body it's cycling, it go back to the soil. I can see that the physical facilities are temporary. That they will not be there after some time. So what is going to remain with me is my understanding, my feeling. And that is my asset. That is what I have to keep working for because only this is going to continue in me. If I am able to see this very clearly, then I can see clearly my program with my body with the physical facilities, with other human beings, with the rest of nature. So I have to focus on this. We'll talk about this tomorrow in detail.